Uh, Tashim, tell me, tell me a little bit, what's the organization that, that you're representing? You're the president of? Yes, I'm the president of uh, NetSAP. It's Network of South Asian Professionals. Mm -hmm. and, um, and we are pretty much all about um, what you do beyond your everyday life, like yeah. nine to five. So we focus on professional development activities, uh, political awareness, uh, cultural that Tosha does and then we also do a lot of community service events okay. where we raise funds for organizations or we have volunteers who go and help out people. Are you based in Boston? We are actually uh, a national organization. Mm -hmm. uh, it's all over North America. Uh, we have two chapters in, uh, in Canada and we represent the Boston chapter. And but how large uh, is the chapter here in Boston? It's pretty large. Uh, we have uh, over 300 members oh, okay. and uh, we reach out to um, about uh, anywhere between about 3,000, 3,500 people. Mm -hmm. We partner with about uh, 20 other organizations. So we, we have our reaches uh, pretty huge in the Boston area. Great. Is it a non-profit organization, non-profit status? Or it, is yeah, it, it is a non-profit <coughs> organization. Mm -hmm. uh, we are a 501c6. Yeah, and great. But when, when, you, when you talk about be, you know, reaching out to do, doing different community activities and things, is it, is it is it professionals turning back some of their talents to help with help within the community? Absolutely. So, uh, I mean, if you take our professional development activities, what we do is, um, I mean, we we have some seminars which uh, which help you with finances okay. and uh, uh, career planning and so on. Uh, we also do have uh, seminars on different various other topics. Uh, and again, when you come into community service, it's all these professionals who are who really want to do and give back to the community, coming uh, coming and helping other people. Mm. And uh, and I think uh, Usha's uh, cultural initiative is uh, is again a very great example where where regular professionals they they are really interested in art, and uh, and that gives them the forum to come and participate in theatrics or other cultural activities and, and do something else. So we try to bring people together in all these activities. We try to network all these people uh, and people can, everyone can find uh, like-minded individuals, uh, participate in initiatives and do whatever they want to do. It's, yeah. uh, it's uh, everything that you want to do that you have not been able to do right. otherwise. When, when you say like-minded in, individuals, is there, is there, is, how do people join? I mean, how do people find, find you to become part of this organization? Well, uh, it's again, it's primarily word of mouth, mm -hmm. uh, but we do have uh, our website. It's uh, netsap boston, netsap boston .org. Uh, A lot of people, if, I mean, usually, in fact, yesterday somebody was asking me, what's your outreach and how, how do people come to your organization? I think, I mean, if you go, go on any search engine, Google, Yahoo, or yeah. something, and you, and you type it out, we are almost on the top. Mm -hmm. uh, well, we've got your link on It's All About Arts page. Yes. All they have to do is, is, is click on, on the name. Yes. And it, and it goes so, too, so, so it's primarily word of mouth, and we, as I said, we partner with a lot of different organizations, mm -hmm. um, and uh, people know us through, through all, all that. Great. We should thank you very much for being here. I appreciate it. Uh, when when they say the cultural end of uh, end of the spectrum, a part of the organization, mm -hmm. what kind of cultural things uh, uh, is the organization involved in these days? Well, I, I primarily came into NetSAP through promoting theatrics, so okay. that was like my mainstay. But I stayed on um, as a board member, and I promoted cultural awareness as well. Great. So I've also tried to combine both. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, what kind of uh, do you have a, a theatrical background? Um, not really. I'm really a writer by okay. background, um, but I was aware of how productions worked, and so I kind of came into it with I wanted to produce this play that I had written, Great. and that was the mainstay, and then after that we kept producing plays. So Great. Became, how long ago was that, the first one? The first one was in 2005. How'd it go? It went great. I think we had a very great turnout. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and did you show it around Boston area? Or? We showed it, and um, it was at Brookline High School. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Very good. And now you've got a, you've got one coming up now, right? Uh, well, wait a minute. First of all, wait. Some of the photographs that we have are from previous productions. Previous productions. Yeah. Why don't we go through some of those photographs that that we have, so that maybe we can talk a little bit about about you know sure. what we're looking at and some of the things that are that are happening. This it starts up here, but then it'll 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 come. There we go. Okay. Okay. This is. This is from a play we produced called Indian Ink. Okay. We, we I should say co-produced uh, with them. Uh, this organization was uh, again local based, and the play is by Tom Stoppard, who's a nationally recognized. I think he's a very well known playwright. Okay. 
So it was a really well-known play. It, it sold out every show night. And so this one um, is another scene from that play, particular play, the main character sitting next to the Raj uh -huh. in this set. And this is another set from the play um, with the daughter of the main, um, the main character talking. Is this one, so this is the one you've written. This is one that was written by... This is written by Tom Stoppard, right. Okay. That's right. This was um, Comedy Mela, a comedy show that we did, and this was one of the skit scenes where they're, uh, he's calling American Express. So it's a funny skit scene on American Express. Tashim, was it funny? Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and this is? This is um, Sarbani Hazard. She started out in our comedy show, and she's now in New York trying to make a career out of it. Great. Comedy. Yeah. So I wanted to show her. Excellent. Yep. Uh, this is a play we did this year called Rape, Regret, and Retribution. Uh, and, uh, this is a group with a group called Setu. They're based in Boston and done plays for eight to nine years. That's one of the scenes with the two guards in this play. And this is another scene from that play with mm -hmm. uh, the, what, the family of the accused in the play. Uh oh Yes. The, 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 are you drawing from membership to do the parts, or are you cattle calling people to come in audition for things? I would say a lot of people came from outside NetSAP. Oh, really? Yes. And in some ways, that got us to recruit more people to NetSAP as well. These yeah. people ended up coming to our other events later. Okay. Yeah. Is, it, is, is the organization uh, Indian-based? Uh, primarily it's South primarily. Asian. South, South Asian. Asian. We okay. call ourselves, yeah. So it's... I mean, the, the parent organization is Network of Indian Professionals. The only reason um, I ask is because I saw, I saw that the theme seemed to be from India. Yes. In, in the, sure. so, so I'm just trying to pull, yeah. pull so, it together. So, so yeah, it, the organization is Indian, uh, mm -hmm. but we, in Boston, we try to reach out to the entire South Asian community. Um, so from different parts, we have people from Pakistan, Bangladesh, uh, mm -hmm. India, Sri Lanka. Uh, so we, we, we try to bring everyone together. Is there a large community in the greater Boston area? Absolutely. It's a yeah. huge, uh, it huge, is. huge community. That's and, great. Uh, and I think, I mean, a so, so few things through these plays are, uh, I mean, one, media and this medium in particular. Um, theatrics is, is, is the best way to promote culture and, um, and arts. And what Usha and, uh, and NetSAP, we are trying, what we are trying to do is take, take this medium and and somehow, you know, portray Indian culture or, or bring that back and also okay. values and, yep. and what people have to do and so on. And there's entertainment at the end of the day. So oh, yeah. it's well, we celebrated India Day here for quite a few years, especially oh. while Diana was, was around. Sure. You know, and that whole weekend, the Indian in, Independence Day, we had dances in. We had, yeah. it's just fabulous. I miss yeah. that because Diana was really great at bringing that in. Let's take a look at a couple of the clips that you brought. Okay. okay? And um, tell me a little bit about what we're going to see for the first one. What's the first one we're going to be seeing? Um, the first one is a scene with the wife and her husband of the play. Um, yeah, yeah. This play is called Bend It Like Auntie. This is a play that I wrote and came into NetSAP with. Um, the play is about the mother at the table. She and her husband um, have disagreement about her wanting to go d dance Is again. Is there audio? Shalini and I were discussing business. You were with Shalini? Yes, we were discussing business. Right. And who was that on your cell phone this morning? Shalini? Again? Why does she call your cell number? before she used to call the home number? Because it is easier to get hold of me. Sometimes I have to go to the other office in Framingham. Dinner's ready? Yes, dinner's ready. Anjali, Rahul, dinner's ready. Very cool. Yeah. That's neat. <laughs> Was it, is that the one? Is this the one that you, this you is wrote? This one I wrote. Congratulations. Yeah. Pff, I Thanks. love. How does that feel to see that up on the screen? That's it nice, was really isn't? nice. Yeah. <laughs> you know what we're going to do is we're going to jump right to number three because there's okay. some dancing in there. Okay. Because yeah, we're kind sure. of kind of running just a little a little bit long. So okay. As soon as we get to, they'll let me know when when it's ready and queued up. Not yet. One minute. Okay. okay. Uh, do you get out and perform at all too, or are you just the writer in the background? No, I, I like to stay in the background. Yeah. Why? <laughs> it's fun out there. Oh no, I don't want to be on the stage. Uh, are, you, yeah. you're, you're, are you still writing? You're writing new, new work? I'm trying to do some new comedy writing, actually. Comedy, that's yeah. a tough one. It's hard. That's it's a very tough hard. one. Yeah, because yeah. uh, 
Uh, it's, it's hard. You can write something and laugh all day, and then I read it. Uh -huh. and, <laughs> what? What?